Blessings, one love, family, much love. Jesse Tree here, reporting for duty. <laughs> Just been uh, in the mood to do some sharing here today. Been thinking about sharing for a long time, but man, there's so much, many thoughts. My head's been clamoring a little bit. And what's been on my mind lately has been just my whole pranic transformation and what's going on with me. It's a very interesting experience. I willfully intended this thing. It's totally manifesting. I spent the last 20 days dry fasting every day till 5 and then just having like juice and broth and tea for about 2 or 3 hours a day. And uh, I feel great. I have more energy than ever. I feel like my heart is being restored by this process. But there's this, it's not without pains. I'm going through this whole integration experience where I'm trying to integrate with my family, who are all meat eaters. And, you know, I'm the vegan who's gone pranic. Um, and with my heart with respect to herbalism. And uh, permaculture and foraging and food, I love um, all of that stuff. I love growing food and, you know, just bounty for people and the wellness that can be bestowed by the wonderful plant beings. Um, and, you know, all the medicines out there and the energetics uh, of Ayurveda, earth, wind, fire, and water. Um, and seeing those beautiful reflections of the stars down here on the planet in the form of trees and plants. And really enjoying that whole journey. That whole journey was part of what led me here. Now I'm in a new space where what I think about most is like hanging out with my family, uh, skateboarding and surfing and snowboarding. I want, I'm thinking about a lot and even more than that, music. That's how my wife and I met was music and in my study of alchemy and Ayurveda and life uh, I really resonate with the thought put forth by Seven Bomar of you know what are the 360 degrees of your worldview do you have a whole holistic worldview or do you have have you pigeonholed your thought and and I see how music connects to sound next to that cicada buzzing over there and the temperature uh, right now the frequency vibration how that affects chemistry how that affects crystalline lattice growth how that affects our bodies and this pranic transformation is really fantastic and valuable and wonderful I think because it learns to open up you learn to open up the uh, central channel, the heart channel, and the kundalini flow in a greater way. And it's really just amazing, you know, um, because you don't have the obstruction of all that food turning around here. I'm taking my dogs on a little walk. I had left my shirt up here. Yeah, there's not the obstruction of all this food and that's been part of my conundrum is that after learning all this botanical latin all of these organ affinities uh, all of this stuff about plants i've come to find and this is what paracelsus the great alchemist said is that fasting is the greatest doctor it employs the physician within we are all in balance medicine in this world. This is another Ayurvedic adage. Everything in the universe is medicine. In, in, in balance it is, and out of balance it causes discord. So um, if we can learn to be in balance, and this thing with the pranic thing is not just not eating. It's about learning to balance um, between earth and sky, between earth, wind, fire, and water, between uh, your emotions, your emotional body, your spiritual body, your psychological body, your physical body, between your relationships, your work relationship, your uh, relationship with your own self, your relationship with your family, 
God, I'll get these things whole in this time. To be sovereign, to be strong, to be uh, clear and lucid, and to be free. And that's what I feel like the pranic uh, life offers and is really a gift that belongs to all of us. We're all pranic. You can all live without food for a good while and water even longer or other way around. Water for a good while, food even longer. But you can go very little time without breath. And you know, the study of all this has opened up the fact that the large intestine is like a tertiary lung. It's actually an organ to digest energy and that can be sound, um, light, uh, movement, uh, or air. Um, and I'm really beginning to be convinced of this as I've, during these 20 days, I've been, you know, taking, you know, probably less than 800 calories a day and doing landscaping and, you know, running my three boys around and doing everything everybody else does with the stresses and everything. I just take the time to meditate, to sun gaze, to stretch, to focus, to remain in balance. And I've been on this liquid journey for almost two years now. Um, and it just really took a notch up recently. And it's just this thing that is very interesting. I feel more connected with my true self and with my true heart. And I feel like this is something that could be a great healing for the all. And that's something I want to put my energy into. And yet I still have all these heartstrings with uh, earth living, permaculture, herbalism, gardening. It all is part of this life cultivation practice. My dogs are chasing, chasing cars. They never learn. They've always been hit by cars in the past from time to time. And I have an amazing story of healing my dog, Coco, who had crushed her foot. It had been rolled over. I took her to the vet. They said, surgery is going to be several thousand dollars, reconstructive surgery, very complicated. I said, no, nah. or amputate. I said, no. Nah. I took her home, wrapped her in comfrey, gave her homeopathic some phytum for two weeks. Uh, I had to go away. My wife continued. And when I came back, she came running up to me upon my return. So the body has amazing abilities to heal. And we have amazing abilities. Just, I'm into this whole idea of pronoia, which is that the universe is conspiring in your favor. Going under barbed wire. Like this. And that, um, we're supported by the energy of the sun, the negative ions from the earth, the wild edible plants all around us the water from the sky. We don't actually need to pay to live here like we'd be convinced to. We could be like a swallow living simplistically. Come on, puppies. Come on, lukers. Sorry, they're rascally. I don't want them to get out again. Um, but yeah, pronoia is very real. And this pranic experience I'm enjoying is definitely convinced me. And you may poo poo or what have you, my experience, but I'm living it, so uh, <laughs> you can say whatever you want. <laughs> um, it bothers me none. Shadow! I just want to extend love and blessings to you all and share this uh, modality, this experience that can come through fasting, vegan diet, as you clear out these channels. Uh, I'm going to let him work his way back. Uh, meditation, primarily meditation, 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 and physical exercise, and things like sun gazing and grounding can build other channels of energy uh, absorption, and it's kind of our birthright to live free. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm running up against 10 minutes, and YouTube won't let me do more because I don't have enough followers, but sending many love and much love and many blessings to you today my friends hit me up uh, for our classes and our 
products and our book. Be well.